everybody! Welcome to another Cricut Craft tutorial. Before we get started, be sure to check out my Instagram. I post lots of really fun content over there. We do some fun things in the stories and I would love to have you over there to check out all the fun crafts that I do. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to make your very own Santa plate. Now this is really, really easy, but one thing I want you to note is that I'm using a clear plate so that I can put the vinyl on the back. The reason we're putting the vinyl on the back is that vinyl is not food safe. So if you want to place food on this, it is best to not have the food touching the vinyl. So using a clear plate is a great option. This is a super cute and easy thing that you can do. You could honestly whip this together really, really quickly. This could make a great gift or something fun for your kids. I would love to see what you guys come up with with your own Santa plates. So be sure to tag me on all of your social medias because I love to see what you guys create. So let's get started. We're going to create this over in Cricut Design Space and then cut it with our Cricut. Whatever we would do, we do it just for fun. The first thing I'm going to show you how to do is how to unzip your folder because that's something that I see a lot of people run into when they are making designs. They say, oh, it won't upload. It's giving me an error. So let me show you really quick what happens if you didn't unzip your folder. So I'm going to go ahead and just open one of these and we'll just do drag and drop just to make it a little bit easier. Um, so what we're going to do is first I'll show you, you'll see that you have a couple different types of files. Now my computer shows my SVGs as HTML documents. Yours may do the same, but that is your SVG. So what we'll do is Cricut Design Space, we'll go to upload and we'll go to upload image. Now, like I said, I didn't do anything as far as unzipping this. So I wanted to show you the error that you're going to get. So what I'm going to do is just drag and drop my SVG over to my Cricut Design Space. You'll see that it says I've selected an unsupported file type. And the reason it says that is because it's not unzipped, so you have no access to the file. So back in the main folder, because I wanna make sure that I unzip everything, I'm just gonna simply click this extract all button. Now you can browse to tell this where you want to extract it to, but I just want this to extract it right to the same folder that the zip folder is in and it defaults to that. So I don't need to browse or anything. I can just click extract. Now I do have mine set up where it does open up my folder. Now the way they have this set up is a little bit funny, so it still has compressed zipped folders within it. So what you'll need to do is you'll still need to go through and you'll still need to click extract again and then just click extract. This folder was set up just a little bit funny, but that way you guys can see kind of how you have to do it. You'll know you're in your extracted folder because see how this one doesn't have this pink extract at the top? That's kind of how you know. So what I'm going to do now is just drag and drop the image over into my Cricut Design Space. Just sort of a little tip trick for you guys. Now we are gonna make this cute little cookie plate. You could use this for a Santa cookie plate or just a plate that you have out with when guests come. But I just thought this would be a really, really fun one to do. So what we're gonna do is we don't do anything here, but I am actually gonna change my image name because I don't like the way they have that set up. So what I'm gonna do is change it to Santa cookie plate. And this is gonna help if I ever need to search it. You can also add search words over here if you wanna to try to find it later. You can add just whatever words you want that you think you might want to look for when searching for your design. So like I used the word Christmas, I used the word plate, cookie, Santa, and that's just gonna help you um, find them later if you wanna search for them. So now all you simply have to do is click upload. Once you've uploaded it and it shows in your uploaded images here, just select it and click add to canvas. Once it's added to your canvas, you're going to see that this is just a little bit kind of crazy over in your layers panel. So I'm just going to show you a couple of things to show you how to fix this. So you can see that you've kind of got a lot going on. Now I'm not going to resize it just yet because I do want to show you a couple of things. So if I were to just click make it right now, it's going to give us kind of a crazy thing. So I'll show you what that all looks like if you just hit make it. Do you see how messy this is? All of our words are all jumbled. Everything's kind of out of place. Nothing's where it should be. We definitely don't want that. So what I'm going to do is click at the word cancel. Now you'll see over in your layers tab that you have different groups. And what I'm going to do is actually just take these little groups and attach them. But in order to do that, I need to ungroup them. So what I'm going to do is click the word ungroup. Now it may take it a minute and you may need to actually hit ungroup a couple of times, 
because sometimes it won't let you attach if it's grouped. But let's give it a shot while it's grouped and see what happens. It looks like it's maybe gonna actually let us do it, so let's just try that and see what happens. Now, I did notice a couple of really weird little small cuts in the Make It screen. So I have this little tiny dot right here. I don't see it over here. I'm not sure where it goes, but I'm gonna go ahead and hide it and see if anything changes. It doesn't look like anything's coming up or changing really. So it looks like we can just go ahead and hide this little line, we don't need it. And then I did notice another little line or dot down here in the brown, which again, I don't think we need. So I'm just gonna hide that as well. We don't need them cut, so it'll just save you some hassle. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach this group as well. And it does tend to take a second because there are a lot of pieces. And then the last one we're going to do is attach the brown section. Now it may look like your little black dots for your cookies actually go under your cookies, but I promise that they didn't disappear. They're just under them. So now if you click make it, what you'll see is that everything should be held in place. Now, again, there's a lot of pieces, so this may take a minute, but I'm going to show you kind of how to reduce the amount of pieces that Cricut Design Space has to deal with as well. But I like to just test it and see if we can get it to work. Now you'll see that everything is held in place. Now I will say the way that this is designed, this does kind of waste a little bit of material. So it's going to be up to you and how you want to do it. But I'm actually going to do a couple of little changes to these just so that we can save some materials. Now I'm fine with the way this brown is set. We can just leave that kind of how it is. And same with this color. I don't really mind that. But the red really takes up a lot of space with these two little stars. They're almost just too far away from everything and it's just a lot of vinyl and we can just lay those by hand. Right here where we've got the take one and the stars, we actually need to click ungroup again because we need to have all of these pieces separate because they were grouped together in a group, if that makes sense. It's a little bit crazy how this one is set up. But what I'm gonna do is select this group of the Santa cookie plate and all I'm gonna do is click attach. That way all it's doing is attaching my letters and my stars are kind of out there floating on their own. But that's what I want, I don't really mind and you can actually move them up here so that they're not gonna waste any vinyl and that way you've got just a little bit more space. Now, like I said, this took a really long time to load. So if you want to avoid that, grab that attached group here. So I'm going to grab my browns and all I'm going to do is click the word weld. What that's doing is it's going to create this design into just one simple section and that way it only views it as one piece. So I'm going to do the same thing here for this dark brown and all I'm going to do is just weld it. Again, all that does is just makes it one piece. So Cricut Design Space just thinks it's one item instead of like 12. It just makes Cricut Design Space run a lot quicker. So it's just a quick little tip. Then what I'm gonna do is select the stars and the take one, and I'm gonna weld those as well. And I'll, those I'll just draw a box around and just click weld. What weld does is it really just makes the item one piece. That way it's not so much for Cricut Design Space to deal with. And you can honestly delete these ones that you hid. They're not there. They're not going to do anything. Now I'm going to just kind of reset this up a little bit so that I can kind of see how it all sits. And then we can size everything. Now you can just kind of ignore the stars. They're just going to be kind of in the middle down here. So it won't really matter where those are sitting, but you want to kind of have everything set up the way you want it to be on your plate it is important to measure the area that you're going to put this on your plate. So I've got about six inches to work with. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and reduce the size of this. Now you can really kind of do this any way you wanted to. If you just want to put this on the outside of the plate and the cookies in the middle, really up to you and how you want to do it. But I'm just going to put everything right in the center as long as it doesn't look like it's going to be really, really small. But I think that looks like it's pretty good sized. So now you'll see that you have a couple little pieces. So I'll just pull everything out so you can see the different pieces. You're going to need three colors. You're gonna need a red, cook, whatever you wanna do for the cookie color, and then whatever color you wanna make this. Again, you can make these any color that you want. But because vinyl is not food safe, you're going to mirror your vinyl. That way it goes on the backside of the plate and not where people are gonna eat off of it. 
So what I do is I'm just going to kind of stack everything back on top of each other just to make it easy to grab it all, select everything, and all I'm going to simply do is flip it horizontal. By flipping it horizontal, that mirrors the image and we can put it on our plate very, very easily like this. The other thing to note is that you are going to layer this a little bit backwards. So you'll want to keep in mind that you're actually going to be layering the top thing that you're putting down first. So you're going to put the cookie bits and pieces down before we put the cookies down. So it's just something to keep in mind when you're doing this. Now I'm just gonna cut this on StarCraft HD, which cuts on the vinyl setting. I'll show you guys how to load that into your machine and then we can get ready to cut. So for this project, I've done black, I did the metallic gold and red. So the black is what we're gonna cut first. I'm using a green mat and all you're gonna do is load your vinyl onto your mat. And this again, just cuts on the vinyl setting. You don't have to do anything special. Go ahead and load your machine. I'm gonna go ahead and let this cut out everything. We'll get everything weeded and then I'll show you how to apply it to your plate. So for this project, we're using this clear plate. This is just from the Dollar Tree, so this is perfect. I'm gonna slide that out of the way a little bit. Now remember, like I said, we have to layer kind of in a backwards way, if that makes sense. Um, so instead of putting down the black on top of the gold, we actually need to put the black on the plate, then we can put the gold down, and then we can put the red down. So it's just a little bit different because we had to mirror it so that we could put it on the back of our plate. Now I'm just using some medium tack transfer tape. This is a really nice tack for this kind of a project. So all I'm gonna do is lay this down face down. Face down is the easiest way to lay your vinyl down on to transfer tape because it just it's so much simpler than trying to lay the transfer tape on top of it. So then all I'm gonna do is go ahead and burnish this down, and I'm pretty sure I can fit the red ones right here maybe, mm, maybe not. But what I'm gonna do is just trim this off, and then I save whatever I have as far as like my leftover transfer tape, and I'll just put it right back and roll it together again. Oops, I missed that corner. So we'll go ahead and roll that back up. So then again, I'm just gonna burnish. I like to just make sure I have a nice burnish on that. And then what I do is instead of peeling my vinyl this way, I like to actually peel the backing off from the vinyl instead of the vinyl from the backing. It just works so much easier. So then all I'm gonna do is just roll that off. And then all we need to do now is place this on to the plate. And we're placing it into this center section. So I'm actually gonna use this really quick just to kind of lay out about where I need to put this one. That looks pretty good. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just slide that out of the way and then lay this down. And then all I'm gonna do is burnish this down really well. Now, vinyl loves to stick to glass, so this shouldn't really be a problem as far as getting things to stick. But I'm gonna go ahead and just make sure it's well held down, especially with these little chocolate chip cookie pieces. I just wanna make sure that those are pressed on. And then go ahead and peel your transfer tape back. Now you can see I had a little dot that didn't stick. That's okay. Just lay the transfer tape back down, press that dot down again with your squeegee, and then just peel back. Now again, I may have a few dots here and there that don't wanna stick. That's okay, just push them back down. Now see, this guy still doesn't really wanna stick very well. That's all right, watch. All we're gonna do is press them down with our finger and hold that down with our finger and sometimes it just needs a little help. It just depends. Sometimes those little pieces don't always like to stick. So you're gonna go a little bit slow. I can see over here I have two that don't really wanna stay down. So I just hold them down and help them stay down with my fingers and voila. So then we're just gonna make sure our letters stay down. Like I said, sometimes it's just a matter of I didn't burnish it well enough or it could just be that the plate's pretty cold. Um, sometimes pressing it down to really cold stuff, vinyl doesn't like to stick. Um, so cold glass sometimes can be a little bit tricky. So all I'm gonna do is just make sure everything stays down and we're good. 
So we can now lay the next layer, which I'm just gonna go ahead and lay my red layer next. I'm just gonna stick it to my transfer tape. And I'm just gonna use that same piece of transfer tape over again. You don't need to get another one. There's no reason to waste. And then all I'm gonna do is line this up where I want it to go. That looks pretty good. And again, we'll just burnish this down making sure to press down each letter and then I'm going to peel it this direction and again you may have a letter that wants to kind of lift up a little bit on the end that's all right just kind of push it back down and we have that and then last but not least we're going to do our cookies now I will say layering sometimes this direction can be a little bit difficult but you'll be fine it's not super hard just going to go ahead and burnish this down and again as always peeling from the back now you notice I use the same piece of transfer tape for this whole project and I just have these two little stars left to place once we're done now for this part what I may end up doing because it's a little bit easier sometimes I'm gonna flip my plate and I'm actually gonna use my plate to help place my design because it's a little hard to see what you're doing so you can just simply flip your plate over and get this where you want it to go and then just set it down and it'll hold where you wanted it and then all you need to do is just burnish down and you don't want to miss these little stars on the sides or the little cookie crumbs just give this a really really good burnish and then again just like you did before peel that transfer tape up Then last but not least, we have these two little stars that need pressed down. So these are real simple. I'm not really gonna do a whole lot of work with these because they're super easy. All I'm gonna do is stick them to my transfer tape. And with this, I'm just gonna kind of stick them wherever I feel like they should go. There's no right or wrong place for them necessarily. So there we go. I think that looks pretty good. So let's take a look and see how it looks. Oh, it's super cute. Now we do have a little bit of like some bubbling around the cookie pieces, the little chips, but what you can do to kind of help eliminate that is flip your plate back over and just press your vinyl down really, really well in those like around those little chips. You're always going to have a little bit of a bubble there because it does have an edge, but you can go through and kind of just press a little bit better around those little chips and that'll help some and some of the bubbles will work their way out as you let the plate sit and as that vinyl cures but I just think this came out so cute it's super easy like I said if you mirror it you can put it on the back vinyl is not food safe so it's really important that you kind of keep that in mind when making your plate that's why I recommend doing it on a clear glass plate so that you can put it on the back and then you have all the vinyl is on the back and then you have the front which is ready to go and perfect. If you guys have any questions about this or any other crafts, please let me know in those comments. Do you guys leave out cookies for Santa? And what is your favorite cookie? Let me know in those comments. I hope you guys had so much fun. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked this type of content or you learned something new here. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and as always, happy crafting.